All right, so now that we have our new drawing open, we want to actually start making it. So ultimately, we're going to end up with a drawing that looks something like this. It's got all of our parts necessary to make our phone stand. So our little cell phone holder. You have your drawing. You're going to laser it out onto a piece of wood that I'm going to give you. And then you're going to sand it, finish it up, and it's going to look like that. Along the way, you can make some changes if you want to. So like this one, I added some curves to it. Had a little tech ed drawing right there. Made it pretty. So made it individual, make it your project, not everybody else's. Make it something different. So there's a blank one right there. So it's a drawing. So real quick, you're going to start with your block of wood. You're going to laser your drawing onto it. You're going to drill out the holes in the middle. And on the scroll saw, you're going to cut out all the pieces, cut out the outline, cut it apart, cut it all, and then assemble it. You're going to get a nice little phone stand right there. So, to our drawing. First thing is, you see the drawing comes with this border around here and this little box down here. Again, these are professional standard things that are on technical drawings. If you look at the top, if you zoom in, you can see there's a scale up top so you can get a nice size and at the bottom it's got dates, manufacturing things, sizes, sheets, so if an engineer was using this he may be on his fifth different version of something so he might put the fifth version, title, anything necessary like that. We don't need these right now, so let's go over here on the side and go right click, delete. Right click, delete. Now we have a nice blank sheet to work with. If we want to change the size of that, we can go to right click and edit sheet, but you can just leave it the way it is. Up at the top, we have our place view. You won't be using this one right now. You'll use that later on when we have our 3D parts. Annotate, we can use this if we want to mark the dimensions or add text to our drawing. But for now, we're going to be using this sketch. And again, when we're doing sketches, everything is going to start over here on the left side with Start Sketch. Then you're going to do whatever you want to do with these pretty straightforward line, circle, arc, rectangle, and you can always drop them down. If there's a little arrow, you get different options. You can draw whenever you're done all the way over here finish sketch so you click that and that is my drawing obviously I don't want this right here so we can go here in my sketch right click edit and I can highlight whatever I don't want and on my keyboard I can hit delete not backspace delete so let's create the outline for our phone stand so we want to make a rectangle that is 3 inches by 10 inches tall. So click on rectangle, click once. Don't hold it down, just click, and I can drag it. You see at the bottom is highlighted in blue. That means I can change that number. So on my keyboard, if I wanted to put 3 and I hit tab, 10. When I hit enter, that gives me a nice 3 inch wide by 10 inches tall. Another way I can do that is if I just make a rectangle, if I click it, notice I didn't type anything in, and that's why these dimensions are not here. So the next big tool you need to know that we're going to use a lot is this dimension tool. What dimension does is it gives me exact measurements. So I can click this line. So click the dimension tool click this line, bring it down here, and click again, and I can make this 3, enter, dimension, click, click, 10, enter. So that's another way to do the exact same thing. Let's get rid of that so I can always hit the undo button right here, or the control Z on the keyboard. So that gives me back to where I was before. So on my phone stand I have both the top and the bottom made out of one piece of material. So going back here 
You have the bottom, you have the top. It's made out of one piece of wood that's cut in half to give you the phone stand. And those are four inches on the bottom, six inches on the top. So to create that line, I'm going to click this line. Come over here somewhere onto this line anywhere but the very middle. You notice when I get to the middle, that little yellow circle turns green. That means that's right in the middle. So anywhere but that, click, bring it over, click, and it gives me a line. Remember, I want to make this exact, so I'm going to use the dimension tool. And I want to know how far from this line to this line. So click, click, and then come over here to the side, click it again. And I want that to be four inches. So now that's four inches, that's three, that's ten which means that this has to be six. If I click on dimension, if I click from here to here, I know that that's six inches. So when I try it, adding this dimension will over constrain the sketch, choose accept to create a driven dimension. Because I said this is four and this is 10, then this has to be six, this can't be anything else. So if I hit accept, you'll see there's parentheses around there. I can change this and make it longer. Double click on it, make it 12, and you notice that changes based on these two. So I can put that back to 10. Similarly, I can double click, change that to 3, that changes to 7. If I try to change this, it's grayed out. I can't do it. So let's put that back at 4. Alright, so these are our outlines that we're going to be using for our phone stand.